let me share with you something that I see in the youth group, but I also see in the church at large, individual congregations. Because we have dumbed down the gospel, because we're not preaching the true gospel, and we are using carnal means to attract people. If you use carnal means to attract men, you're going to attract carnal men. And you're going to have to keep using greater carnal means to keep them in the church. So what has happened is this. We have these large churches filled with many unconverted carnal people. But in those churches, we also have this small group of people that honestly want Christ. And they honestly want His Word. And they honestly want to be transformed. They don't need anything else. All they need is true worship of the true God and Scripture being preached to them and lived out before them. That's what they want. Now I want to tell you the great sin of the American pastor. And this has got me in a lot of trouble, but it's true. This small group of converted people in that local church, all they want is Jesus. And all they want to do is the right thing. They want purity. They want truth. They want Christ. But the pastor, in order to keep this larger group of unconverted people, he caters to them. So while he is feeding these carnal men and women with carnal things, he is letting the sheep of God starve to death. And he is going to stand before God one day in judgment. Listen, brother, if, if my wife was going grocery shopping and when she was going out to her car some men assailed her attacked her brutally and you walked by and you did not want to get involved because you didn't want to cause trouble you didn't want to put yourself in harm's way you just wanted everything to go go smooth after all that was done I would look for those men to deal with them but I want you to know this I'd look for you too because you had a chance to stand for my wife, my bride. And out of self-preservation or wrong ideas, you did not do it. You're just as much responsible as those men who attacked her. And that's what's happening all throughout America with pastors. It's the bride of Christ. There are sheep in all these churches, many of them, even churches that seem somewhat heretical in places, you usually find a group of people who truly want Christ, but the leadership is catering to the carnal and letting the bride of Christ starve to death, impoverished. And that is wrong. And there's going to be judgment for it. And the same thing is happening to the youth. I know young people that say, you know, Brother Paul, I listen to you all the time. And I said, well, what about your church? He goes, well, they don't preach this. It's not what the other young people want. And so they give them what they want. I'm starving to death. A little child of God, it would be better than a millstone be tied around your neck than you cause this little one to stumble.